Hey guys, Brandon here with TERC, bringing you a short overview of this little crawler. We're going to be getting into the little crawler section here, and this was originally the gatekeeper from Elements. And this is Johnny from Baseline RC, and we're going to be giving you this little overview. Hello. I want to walk us through kind of what you've done so far from stock to so, now. Yeah, sure. So basically this truck, uh, was, or it is an Element gatekeeper. I got the kit. Um, I got the kit, pretty much built it up. I wasn't really sure of the idea I wanted to go with when I got it. Um, I saw a lot of people getting these kits, and I was like, "Oh man, that's really, that's really cool." You're all skeptical like, about it. Yeah. Not sure if it's what you want. Yeah, I mean, I did. I do have an SCX 10 too, and okay. I was like, "Man, I want something like more realistic, that's a little bit faster." Which that model is real similar to this it's one, but it's fairly similar. The Enduro chassis is very similar to the SCX 10 chassis. There are some major differences, but um, uh, there are some little things on the element stuff that I like. Little things on the uh, actual truck. Kind of half and half. Yeah, right? it's, yeah, it's a half and half. So far with this truck, I've so far, everything I absolutely love. Love the kit um, so far. I, lo I love the kit. I love the IFS kit, especially on this truck. Um, and this one even has like a sway bar link for more realistic driving. Oh, very nice. Yeah, kind of keep it a little bit more realistic. Oh, yeah. So uh, on this one, like I said, it is pretty much mostly stock besides the IFS kit and, you know, the Otronics, but that's another story. Um, there's nothing pretty much more to go over than, you know, it's Elements, um, Elements Full Fancy shenanigans that they're doing with their Old enduro system and, and everything yeah. in there now this one does have the ifs kit tell us a little bit difference between the normal oh, yeah, sure. four three link versus ifs so the the three link you uses a uses a pan hard link and it has a solid axle um, gotcha. i mean i won't i can't really use it yeah. here right here but uh basically there's a link that goes from here to somewhere like right here on the axle that kind of keeps mm -hmm. it centered and straight the rear here it does have a trailing arm mount so you have these trailing arms that mount closer to like the center of the rear of the chassis Okay. Um, depending on what car you have, it'll be different. And then it has your upper links, and that's kind of how they set up the trailer arm suspension. The pan hard link, you know, a lot of people know how those look. Yeah. It's this. It's kind of mounted it's a, up on the chassis versus the actual. Yeah, pretty much it's a three stuff. link with a pan hard bar that goes across to kind of keep the axle from shifting left and right. Um, the IFS kit on this guy, though, is, well, besides it's torn up because I've actually <laughs> been running this truck, the IFS kit is an independent front suspension, which is what an IFS stands for. And this one is axle kit, so it is locked axle. It's not a. You, I don't believe they make a uh, you know a diff with oil that you can put in there. Gotcha. So and this one axle. bolts directly up to the element. Yes. Yeah, so this one nice. does bolt directly to the element chassis. Um, I believe it mounts to all of them. This one did require a little special work that I needed to do to kind of. I mean, I could have used the original shock towers. It's just there's more working I got to do there. So I just redid the shock more towers there. Yeah, I just yes. added, made my own shock towers so I can have the original plate. And so far they've been pretty robust. And um, yeah, the, it'll mount directly to the Enduro. It will mount to the SX10 with, of course, more 3D printed bits that you need to get. So you Which of course you could get from Baseline RC. Baseline RC, <laughs> yes. Awesome, and you'll have it posted up on your page. Yeah, sure. Now on this one as well, it does have a few lights, a few cool accessories to it. Oh yeah, so this one, <laughs> um, I don't remember who it was, but I saw some light grill fillers online. And I was like, oh my God, I really want to try that. And I was like, do I want, I've always wanted to have like like different color lights on my car just because I mean. Yeah, I have the options yeah. for it. And RGB on computers is awesome. Nighttime. RGB on cars is awesome. <laughs> so I found these uh, halo lights. They're really large, Halo, really very large nice. halo lights. I think they're like 19 millimeter from Amazon. Okay. And they're, oh, they're not too expensive RC. either. And I went ahead and 3D printed these, uh, uh, these little fillers for the roll nice. bar. And, and so they, they do shine very bright for sure, and even during the daytime. I would oh. imagine nighttime crawling is a blast. Oh yeah, during the day though, I just run these little, run the halos. The so. actual halos. Yeah, they actually show up really nice. Keep that that realistic bright. look to it for sure. Oh yeah. Hold on, I gotta go blue. There we go. Awesome. You're running. Sure. So the electronics is pretty pretty straightforward actually, because there isn't a ES separate ESP separate motor. So it's um, just like a bundle kit that you've got for it. Yeah, this is a pretty common thing to do with this truck. Uh, it's the Hobby Wing. Uh, Fusion 1800 TD, their, their crawler version. They do have uh, some faster ones, I believe, for some of their other, just for some of you know, like short course and stuff like that. Okay. Um, it's a 540 can motor with the size, that's the size of a 550 can. So that's can. a standard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the standard motor. It's a 540 can, but it, I mean, it's a 550 can, but it's a 540 motor with a ESC on the very end, like that very, like, I guess. 10, gotcha, the all in one. 10, 15. It's an all, yeah, it's an all, a nice all in one system. Um, I'm using the. Gen Z's Adventure Pack, the high voltage version. 
Um, very, very good amount of power on this one, uh, especially since with this truck I prefer a little bit more wheel speed, especially because I this is more gotta, force yeah. scale and yeah, not more as much scale. performance. Going for like a U4 truck kind of idea. So very that's, nice. That's okay. what we're going with here. And then radio system, you're running the DX5C, I see. Yes, for the radio system, I'm running the DX5C. Uh, I'm using their the receiver is an SR, I think it's a 315, okay. uh, three channel receiver. Give you uh, that extra port for lights, the yeah, winch, exactly. and of course, you know, the RGB that you have on there. <laughs> yeah, the, RG, <laughs> the RGB LEDs on the front. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice setup. And for the servo, I'm actually using a JX, I keep forgetting the name, I believe it's a 15, uh, 5218 High L. torque, I, I assume. High torque and waterproof. <laughs> Nice, I very nice. waterproof, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely good to have when you're running through trails, through little streams mm -hmm. and whatnot. Now tell us briefly a quick little description of why people run brushless versus brush on crawlers. So a lot of the times people prefer to run, I mean, I'm kind of new to it, so I probably don't know the best, but at least from what I've seen, <laughs> it's because they prefer, most of the times it's because they prefer a little bit more wheel speed. Um, usually brushless systems do suffer from not being waterproof most of the times. I do believe most the time, correct. Yeah, I do believe that the uh, fusion system is splash proof. I, I don't want to say okay. fully waterproof, um, but the more so water resistant than anything. Yeah, wa definitely water resistant. I believe well, well, most ESCs are at least splash proof. Um, uh, what's the name of the other? The Axe system, I believe, is waterproof if I'm not mistaken, because they do have a sensor system on that one, and it's you know has all the seals and fancy stuff. Gotcha. The mm -hmm. but the most of the times it's because they want to have them. Sometimes it's more wheel speed. More wheel depends. speed. Yeah, more wheel speed. More kind of notches between the throttle, a little bit more smoother, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming. Definitely, de that's actually the other thing I was going to get to. It's much, mm -hmm. much smoother than most brush motors because of the brush motor, you have a commentator bar there. Yeah, and so these are on or yeah, off, and there's not really too many stages pull. between. Um, they did, remedy, some companies did remedy that, like, um, what's their name? Oh, well, of course. Reedy with their uh, rate with the rate on five exactly sauce. from yeah, Elvis. Those are, those, <laughs> yeah, from from Associated Electrics, they did do that. They did fix some little issues with their. I mean, it wasn't an issue, but they did kind of add their five sauce version motors, which are a lot smoother. Um, but yeah, mostly brushless systems are you know, be a little bit smoother. Uh, sometimes they can even be more compact, a little bit smoother, and setup wires and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like you have here, very beautiful setup. Yeah. All right, now that we've kind of gone over everything, let's kind of we'll get some run on our indoor fall course here. Matter of fact, we don't play at all. OG was in the air, but we better run till we smoke it all. Putting on the front, boy, you better fall. We don't kill them dead, we don't kill them all. Might spend a 10 when I'm in the mall. I was on the bin with it in my draw. Hit that smoke and I'm blacking. Hit that smoke and I black out. If he run, blow his back down. I was gone, but I'm back down. These niggas gon' fall, but I never back down. In the school, I was trapping. In the school, you was clap clown.